it's customary on Pride Sunday to have a guest preacher uh, on the occasion of, of this celebration. And it is my pleasure to, honor, uh, to introduce to you Emily Spielman, who some of you may know, she's been a longtime friend of St. Luke's. She has done safe zone trainings for, for a couple of years. It's been a year or two since we've done one, but we've done a number of safe zone trainings here. She's spoken at our youth group. And when I first met Emily, what really struck me was the way that her character and the person that I know her has really is in line with the character of St. Luke's. I experience her as having an inquiring mind and a faith that seeks understanding. And so Emily Spielman has been involved with the planning of Pride for a great number of years. And now it is my pleasure to invite her up to preach her very first ever sermon right here at St. Luke's. Welcome, Emily. So as a little girl, I grew up in Dunkirk. It's a small town that's actually labeled as a city, even though I never really viewed it as a city. In my opinion, it was one of those places that was just a little bit slightly more populated than all the others in a highly rural area. I think that I felt this way because my family was heavily involved in the community, and it seemed like everywhere I turned, someone had some connection to me or my family. For many years of my youth, I felt as if I had to appear a certain type of way, to show up in a particular manner in order to uphold the image that I was taught to have. But growing up a little bit more, and yes, I do realize that I am still very young and have a lot of life left to experience, I realized that I was weighing too heavily on the thoughts of others, that I was holding myself back from my true potential, from my true connection with God as the person that he created me as. I was slowly chipping away from my authentic self, pretending to be someone that I was not. I was not comfortable in my own skin, in my own sexuality. I was not comfortable showing up in the world as the person that I was born to be. It took me many years, moving several hundreds of miles away from my hometown, and even a few years working professionally for me to become more comfortable in myself. Slowly coming out to those closest to me throughout the years and making genuine connections with others has led me to be more authentic. But recently, I have been taking a step back to truly connect with myself, to get to know myself and who God has truly created me as. I wholeheartedly believe that God has created us all uniquely for a purpose, and each and every one of us has our own set of strengths, skills, and even some quirks that benefit the whole in our own special way. And this is a statement that I think is easier said than absorbed, because when I think of this statement, at first glance, I think of myself. I think of all my qualities and how they can contribute to the whole. But when we think of others, particularly others that we might not align with, it can be harder to understand. How can someone be contributing to the whole when they have such different thoughts and perspectives than I have? We see this theme in today's reading. The quote from 1 Samuel states, but the people refused to listen to the voice of Samuel. They said, no, but we are determined to have a king over us so that we also may be like other nations and that our king may govern us and go out before us and fight our battles. This is no different today than it was then. There are so many outside factors that lead us astray from who our true selves are meant to be, from social standards to social media to news outlets and so much more, we are constantly being influenced by those outside factors. And at the end of the day, God has made us who we truly are. I am not a mistake. I am not a sin. I am not unholy, unnatural, or someone who could be hidden behind a closed door because of Jesus. Jesus himself was the one who connected with the most vulnerable people. So who am I to place someone else in a corner or to deem someone else less worthy than I am? For that is not our role. What our role is, is to look within ourselves, to connect with the gifts that God has purposely provided each and every one of us, 
to find our strengths and to connect them to God's words in order to leverage our abilities and make the greatest impact within the life that we are provided. Thank you.